Okay, this is this is the integrity chapter. I think it's for modern max for SBM modern max. All right. So over here, this question says that given that p will be less than y and actually will be less or equals to q and satisfy both the inequality. All right, and then give you some inequality here. It asks you to find the value of p and q. All right. Yeah, because actually one of the students asked me this question for quite long, so I. Today I just make this video to re reply to her. Alright. Alright. So over here, in order to find P and Q, you must try to make this one into this form. So in order to make this happen, we, we need to try to solve this one. Alright, so let me just like write write out the equation. This is 1 plus y or less or equals to 9 minus y and then less than 2y plus 6. Alright, when you solve the inequality like this, you have to solve it separately. So you so I will choose this one to solve first, and then I choose this one to solve for second. Alright, so I will solve the red color one first, mean this one. Alright, so over here I'm going to write 1 plus y or less or equals to 9 minus y. Alright, so I take this one to solve for the first. Okay, this is first. Then the second. I'm going to solve the 9 minus y or less than 2y plus 6. This one is the second one I solve. Alright. For this one, very important is you can't you cannot like jump from the first one and then to the to the third one. Mean like 1 plus y will less than 2y plus 6. You can't do that. Alright, you can only take like this. Alright. Okay, so we solve this one. Okay, this one's very simple. I move my negative y to here become positive y. Y plus positive y is 2y. Or less or equals to 1 move to the other side is minus 1, 9 minus 1 will be 8. Alright, so y will less or equals to 8 divided by 2 is 4. Alright, we solve this one. And then for this one, alright, I can move my negative y to this side, become 2y plus y. And then my move my 6 to this side, become 9 minus 6. So obviously, I will get my 3y is bigger than 3. So my y will be bigger than 1, 3 divided by 3, you got 1. Alright, so now, I have to com I have to combine these two. Alright, so, what I know is, my y will less or equals to 4. But then my y actually is bigger than 1. Isn't it? Because y big, uh, this one I rewrite like this, y bigger than 1, I will have uh, my y can be 2, 3, 4, 5, until infinity. Alright, my y will less or equals to 4. What I what, what I will have, my y can be any number from 4, 3, 2, 1, until negative infinity. Alright, you have to understand what is the me meaning for this too. Alright, so if I if I combine them together, then I got this one. Alright, this one you can see actually is the number that overlap over here. So what number do I have here? Y must be bigger bigger than 1 and less or equals to 4. Actually, I have bigger than 1. I have 2, 3, and 4. You can see this number actually is the number that overlap here. This one got 4. This one got 4. You can see this one got 3. This one got 3. And this one got 2. This one got 2. Right? It's a number that overlap. So, after I join this one, you see actually I form into this pattern already. What pattern I mentioned? This is p less than y, and then will uh, p is less than y, and then y will less or equals to q. So obviously, you just do the comparison. You can easily know that your p is equal to one. So over here, p is equal to one, and then your q will equals to four. Then q will equals to four. Then you find your answer. P equals to one. Q equals to four. So we know it's this one. So your answer will be c. Alright, so answer we see. Simple? Alright. Let's have a look on the second question. Alright, let's have a look on this question. Okay. List all the in the integer x which satisfy both the inequality. So you got two in, in two inequality over here. So I'm going to write out the two inequality. So x over two plus two is bigger than x. And then this one is 1 over 3. I put a comma here, just not to combine both together. However, I guess later we have to combine them. 
All right, so I solve this one first. So in this case, I have fraction. I do not love fraction, so I multiple 2 for every single one. I multiple 2 for this one. So I multiple 2 for this one. You can find out that. Okay, let, let me just write like this. I multiple 2 here. And then I multiple 2 here. I multiple 2 here. I multiple 2 for every single one. All right, 2 and 2, I simplify. I left x. This one, 2 multiple 2 is 4. And then bigger than 2x. And then I move my x to the other side. This is 2x minus x. Which is x will be less than 4. Alright. And then for this one, I move the 1 over 3 to the other side. It will be multiple 3, isn't it? So I will got x minus 1 will be 3 multiple with x. Because 1 over 3 is divide 3. I move to the other side, we get 3x. So actually, here I got 3x. And then here is x minus 1. Alright, same thing, I move my x to the, the other side will be minus x. So I got minus x. So basically, I will got 2x equal to less than negative 1. Then I solve it, my, oh, not less, 2x is bigger than negative 1. So x will be bigger than negative 1 over 2. The 2 move to the other side is just divided by 2, right? So now I try to combine these two inequality. So when I combine them, I write x on the middle. Alright, so the smaller number I always write over here. So negative 1 and 1 over 2. So x actually will be bigger or equals to this one, isn't it? Okay, I write according like this. But then x will less than 4. Here is less, right? So x will less than 4. Alright, and then here he want the integer only. So we never take fraction. Alright, so the nearer number from this one, if you're not sure, maybe you can just like draw out a num number line. Okay, we'll help you understand a little bit. Okay, let me just like draw a num num number line for this one. Alright. Then, I try to like, okay, this is, okay, negative 1 over 2. So the nearer one, this is actually negative 0 0.5. It, it, it will be between negative 1 and 0. Isn't it? So the nearer one will be 0. Alright, because he said x must be bigger, bigger or equal to this one. You can't equal to this one because it says you want integer. Alright, so unless it says real number, then you can take this one. Alright, so the nearer one will be 0, 1, the next one will be 2, 3. Can we take 4 or not? In this case, you have to think can we take 4 or not? We cannot take 4. Why? Because this symbol do not have equal. X must be less than 4. Less than 4 means you cannot take 4. Then we only have this integer. So, the x will get between 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, this one will be my answer. So, I check my answer over here. So, it's A. Alright, I straight away know my answer actually is A. Because I cannot include 4, because here it said less than 4. Alright, and then I cannot include negative 1. We have a lot of students that do not know actually negative 1 over 2 is negative 0 0.5, which is between negative 1 and 0. Okay, if you understand this one between negative 1 and 0, you know when you need to be bigger than this one, the next number will be 0. Alright, I hope my explanation actually can help you understand about this question. Alright, let me just move on to the next one. Alright, this one I already like roughly draft, draft out the thing because I want to save time. Okay, I got y and this equation is y equals to 8. And this equation is y equals to 8 minus 2x. And then he gives you the intersect over here is 4. And here is 0. And then here will be x. Right, over here he say on the graph provide shaded, uh, shade the region satisfied all of this one. So I'm going to write out all the inequality. y will bigger or less than uh, this one. Alright, and then y will less or equals to 8. And then x will less than 4. Alright, I got 3 of this inequality. Then I'm going to find my equation. I have this line already, so obvious. This one is this one. Alright, and then I got this line. Alright, because when he put the line in the graph over here, he never write the inequality symbol. He will straight away write the symbol equal. So you can see all the bigger or less than, they will all change to equal. So you can see all this sign actually is equal. Okay, in the graph itself, it won't, he won't put any like bigger or less than. Alright, but then something you need to understand is if you got the equal or bigger or equal or less, you got full line. 
this one is called full line. However, if do not have equal one, for this one you have got dash line. Or you call it dot line. Alright. This all this you have got full line. This one you have got dash line. And then you find out that you do not have this line in your graph. So in this case you have to draw it yourself. So I'm going to like draw it myself for this line. Alright, so let's me like draw this one. Let me use the red color maybe. Alright. So I'm going to draw the line equals to 4. So you can see. Yes, so this one will, will be the line. Oh, however, you, sh you, you shouldn't have the arrow over here. Uh, let me choose something to not have arrow. Maybe, okay. Yeah, just choose the... Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, maybe I just draw it freehand. So you have a line over here. Oh, so you have the line over here. Let me just draw this one quickly. Ah, never mind. Alright, so this one is the dash line for x equals to 4. Because you know x equals to 4, you're going to touch at 4, isn't it? Because this line you have to draw it yourself, but then here you're going to write here you're going to write the same thing, which is x is equals to 2. Uh, equal to 4, sorry. Alright, so now I got all the equation already. Then you have to decide which area you're going to shape. Alright, so we have a look on the first one. This one is y is bigger, right? So in this case, this is bigger. Alright, this line. So bigger, you have to you have to think, you have to draw on the top here, on the bottom here. So obviously, bigger is this area. All of this area, we call it bigger. Right? So you're going to see, I draw all this area. Of course, it's until infinity. Uh, here is start from here, continue until infinity. Alright. Okay, the second one. Y is less than 8. We, where will be the area of 8? This one is 8, right? Less than 8 we know is somewhere on the bottom. So I'm going to draw somewhere on the bottom. So this is less than 8. Alright. Then, what is the next one? And then x will less than 4. This is x equal to 4. This line is x equal to 4. Do you see it? Right. Less than 4. Less than 4 actually will be this area. I draw in the green. Okay, all of this one is less than 4. And now the difficult part is you have to find an area with 3 color. So, the area with three color is the area which satisfy all the inequality. So the area have three color will be this area. Oops, ah, I do not want to use this. Sorry. Okay, let me use this one and then change the color to this one. All right. Let me just undo this one. So you can find out that this will be the area with three color. Do you see that? Yes, so over here, I'm going to write a R here. Did he ask you to write a R? Yeah, so in the exam, of course, you're going to shade this area only. You're not going to shade like me because here, I actually, I demo to you. Alright, so basically, you'll get the area is here. So on your paper, you're going, actually, you need to draw the X equal to 4 line. And then the shadow region is only here. Yeah, because here it asks you to shade the region with satisfied three, uh, three inequality. Because in SPM, normally he only will give you two equation, and then one of the equation you, you need to draw by yourself. In in this case, he gives you x equal to four. It's very easy to draw because you x equal to four is like this. But sometimes you give you the equation something like this: y equal to m x plus c. So in this case, what you can do is you make a table. Alright, and then what you need to do is you make a table, you let x equal to 0, you find y, and then you let y equal to 0, you find x. Then you can you can draw the other line. But something you need to be very be careful is whether this symbol have the equal sign or not. If have the equal sign, it will be full line. If you do not have the equal sign, in this case, you will get dash line. If you draw the full line, you will be minus mark or even wrong. Alright, it will give you three marks for understanding this. And then you have to know when the big the bigger where is the area for bigger so bigger we you always think 
we always this most of the time we decide by the y value so bigger you have to think the y value will increase so going this way the y value actually increasing so if going this way the y value actually is decreasing all right you can understand that way all right i hope this video actually can help you understand about inequality anyways thanks for watching